All right, what's up, guys? Y'all know I had to give y'all one more video, man. I just got out the shower. I'm feeling fresh. Um, just sprayed on a fragrance. Um, if you don't have this one, it's a TJ Maxx brand, twelve ninety nine. Um, this is Cedar and Salt Sport. And believe it or not, this cheap ass fragrance smells amazing. Uh, it smells aquatic. You do get cedar and you get just what it says, salt. It smells amazing. Um, I was so surprised when I saw this. Uh, they also have one called Fire and Tonic, in which I didn't really like too much. And I saw another one, but I can't remember the name of it. But this is the one that I like the most. So I picked this one up instead. And I'm not disappointed. Um, it smells great. Has a semi-sweet smell to it. Um, it's it's great, guys. Trust me. Um, you find this one, do not hesitate to pick it up. And it is from a house called True Fragrance and Beauty. Um, and I guess that's who makes this fragrance. So that's what I have on right now. The fragrance I'm wanting to talk about is from my house. And which you already know is from the house of Burberry. Um, to me, it is a shame that Burberry does not get the notice that it used to. And true, um, these, if you want to call them dated, they are kind of dated. <clears throat> um, but this one in particular is still a great one. And it usually pops up in a lot of reviewers' uh, top 10 or... Um, honorable mention and I love this fragrance when I first found it um, I fell in love with it powdery it has the lasting power as far as longevity it has great projection to me um, and I'm actually doing this review because of a couple of reviewers but mainly for one that I have uh, that actually subscribed to my channel today um, he actually sent me a friend request on Facebook and about a day or two ago I think or earlier today and I didn't respond to it because I didn't know who he was and when I seen him in uniform uh, I'm assuming he's an officer kind of threw me off uh, but he messaged me through messenger and he said that he loves watching my channel or he likes watching my channel um, he likes my reviews. Um, he says the same thing you guys say that I seem genuine and um, straightforward, um, uncut and raw. Same things you, you guys say. So apparently he says it also. And before I go any further with this, um, I just would like to say that there are a lot of things that are universal or that could be used as a universal language such as football basketball uh, which was my universal language i met a lot of guys over the years playing basketball going to different courts and you know dunking on different people and shooting people's eyes out and having battles and wars and you know you you form relationships with people and i really never knew until i got into fragrances and started fragrance reviews how much that fragrances are a universal language um, I didn't realize how many people really out there love fragrances and love to talk about fragrances and it is so amazing to me that I have met a hundred and twenty or thirty some odd people as far as like uh, subscribers um, it's amazing to me and I appreciate each and every one of you guys with that being said, this is for one of my new subscribers. Um, he may not be able to watch this tonight, as he said, but he said he will watch it tomorrow. And this is the video I said you may want to watch, homie, uh, because it may surprise you. He sent a picture of a smaller bottle of this that he says he's wearing tonight. So that gave me the idea to do this review. So with that being said, uh, Burberry Touch... Um, it captured the electricity of a sensual connection 
and Burberry Touch, this musky fragrance marries rich, multifaceted wood scent, woody scents to seductive florals for a scent that is alluring yet masculine. Uh, top notes of zesty mandarin orange, playful violet leaf, and artemisia, a uh, strong herbal scent of mug, mugwort um, with an uh, aggressive, intoxicating smell. Heart notes of nutmeg, white pepper, and cedar create a spicy, warm tone idea for an intimate evening. Burberry Touch rests on a base note of tonka bean, white musk, and vetiver, known for its mossy aroma with husky chocolate undertones. in the year 2000 uh, with that being said I'm going to do this my way if you don't have this shit pick it up because it is very very nice it is crowd pleasing nothing overpowering yet you don't want to spray too many sprays of this because that powdery note can get a little bit cloying even though it's not super sweet um, it does have a little sweetness to it from the Tonka bean, but I don't get a lot of that on my skin. Uh, I haven't worn this in a while, so I can't really tell you guys how long it lasts and what the projection is. But I may wear this again sometime soon just to let you guys know, like do an update video. But you all pretty much know what this is. The House of Burberry used to be all talk back in the day. People used to love the House of Burberry. They used to wear Burberry shoes and scarves and stuff like that. And now you really don't see too much of that, which is a shame to me because I think the House of Burberry is still a great house. Uh, even though the last good one they brought out was probably Mr. Burberry, but a lot of people don't really swear by it or live and die by it. I don't have it, and I don't think I've ever smelled it. So if anyone has a sample of that, um, I would love to smell it. I actually did see is God talking to me. The light just came back on. But um, I had a chance to buy a big bottle of it from uh, Marshalls in Jacksonville, Florida, and I passed on it. Um, why, I don't know. But if I run across it again, I may just go ahead and pick it up. But um, for what I understand, it's really not groundbreaking, and it actually smells like something else, but I can't remember what they said it smelled like. So, um, with that being said, um, out of all the Burberries that I have, this would probably be my second favorite, with the original being my first, just because the original, um, like I told the story before, um, was my first fragrance ever besides what i had back when i was younger and i didn't purchase those those were like gifts for christmas when i was younger from my mom or whatever but i think the original burberry was the first fragrance that was purchased for me um back when i was married or was it before i got married one of the two all i know is it was my kid's mother she bought it for me from walmart some years ago and um that was one of my favorite fragrances. So this is my second favorite. If you don't have it, pick it up. It's pretty cheap now. You can find this at TJ Maxx, uh, maybe Ross, if you get lucky. I know Marshall sells it. Um, I wouldn't buy it from a retail store because I don't know how much they're still selling this for, if they still sell it um, retail. But I don't think it's worth a full retail price. Uh, this bottle here, I think, is a uh, hundred mil, and I probably paid like thirty bucks for this. I don't remember where exactly, but it might have been TJ Maxx. But either way, you know, you can't go wrong with. It. Um, it's kind of universal. You can wear it almost any season. Um, but 
that's about all I got to say about that one. And like I said before, this is the one I'm wearing now. Uh, if you don't have this one from TJ Maxx, if you can find it, pick it up. It's called Cedar and Salt Sport. It's pretty damn good. Let's see what kind of comments I got before I end this video. Uh, let's see. Oh, you got it, huh? Okay. That's what's up. Uh, let's see. That made my day, man. Not many people out there would do some shit like that. It says a lot about the type of dude you are. Um, I appreciate that. Um, I know you wanted that. And... Like I said, it wasn't doing nothing but collecting dust on my shelf. I'm not really a big Issey Miyagi fan. Um, a lot of people talked about it. I, I, I remember uh, the rapper Twister mentioned it in one of his raps one time before. And, you know, whenever rappers speak on stuff like Louis Vuitton and Dolce & Gabbana and, you know, all kinds of fragrances, people run out and get them shits. I'm not one of them type people that when I hear somebody else talk about it, I have to have it. That's not me. But being that I saw the fragrance, they were cheap enough, I just bought them. And the first one I bought was that all blue bottle. And it was okay. It's not, you know, groundbreaking. Um, for some reason, Issey Miyagi smells good. The performance at times lacks. And on my skin, it didn't do too good. So I just let them sit on the shelf uh, just to say I have it in the collection. But I'm glad you can appreciate it. And hopefully you like it. I don't know if you smelled it yet, um, Cody. Um, if you did, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Um, now all I need to know is did the other package make it to where it was supposed to make it to? Apparently it didn't because he didn't say anything yet. So it is what it is. Alright, that's what's up. So I'm glad you like it. Um, with that being said, I'm going to end this video. Because I got some pizza here now I'm going to eat.